ask you if you knew what a cat was, I am sure you would say, yes, how easy, because everyone knows what a cat is. So then, were I to invite you to define a cat, I am sure you would suspect no problems with that. You would tell me it has fur, four paws, and a tail, and importantly, says meow. <laughs> well, your childish description would merit no applause because you can depilate a cat, or amputate its paws, or snip off its tail, or engage in any sick, sick behavior such as that. But <laughs> a damaged cat remains a cat. It is not suddenly and magically transmutated into a bloated slug, an overgrown salamander, or naked mole rat. <laughs> And as for Mia, now I have said it twice now, <laughs> and we all know that I am not a cat. <laughs> so what is a cat? Well, rather than define it by what it has got, let us define it by what it is not. Hmm? <laughs> so what we are doing here is establishing a conceptual space, a set, if you will, anywhere within which appropriate and approved cat elements may reside and combine to form prototypes and their lesser derivatives down to an acceptable minimum. Importantly, non-cat elements are restricted from the aforementioned conceptual space because their entry would represent a violation of the concept of cat. <laughs> Example, <laughs> does a cat have gills? No. no. Does a cat have wings? No. no. Or tusks or horns or any such things? No. <laughs> so we are finished. Are we? For what if I were to show a cat with horns to you? <laughs> One that had been made by tweaking a gene cluster or two in a fine biotechnical institution. <laughs> what would you call it? <laughs> you would call it a motherfucking horned cat! <laughs> because what could you rationally call it but that? A child! A mere child would say, Mother, look at that! Funny cat! The professor would say, My, my, what an interesting cat! We would all think of it as some new kind of cat. So, what is a cat? Thank you.